letter from Galvin. This is an open letter to customer service. Dear customer service, seriously? Now, when I say customer service, I think most of us think about calling a 1-800 number and talking to a guy named Pintar to complain <laughs> about our latest purchase. But I'm talking about going into any business and dealing with the people that actually work there. I get that a lot of people aren't necessarily doing their dream job. I mean, this isn't, uh, you don't necessarily have the coolest job in the world. This is a really cool job that we have. And there have been times where I just wanted to turn my alarm off and go back to bed. But if you're doing a job and you're getting paid to do that job, can you at least try to do that job without being a miserable grump? I'm gonna tell you a good experience that I had the other day. I needed a cable for my computer that cost six bucks on Amazon. But then I was driving past Staples and I figured I'll swing in there and grab it. That same $6 cable from Amazon was $22 oh. in Staples, to which I exclaimed, $22? And then an employee sidled up next to me and said, just go to staples.com. We have to price, my, price match everything. That cable on their website, I was in store. Yeah, yeah. That cable on their website was $2.79. Oh. Oh. It was $22 in store. I told him, I don't know how much longer you're going to be working here, but I appreciate your help. He was very helpful in the exact opposite of most people we deal with on a regular basis. I know that you, as an employee, have to deal with a lot of rude people. But I'm not rude. I'm delightful. <laughs> Unless you're rude, then I'm your worst nightmare. I know that if I decide not to buy something, it's probably no big deal to you. You don't own the store. That money isn't going in your pocket. But if you're rude to me and you act like a donkey brain, then I am going to leave my full cart and all the stuff and walk out of the store. And I feel good knowing that you have to put all that stuff back. When are we going to get rid of the flip screen where I'm tipping you for doing nothing? I like to tip, and I tip well to people that deserve it. But I don't know if you mumbling the price of my meal to me while not making eye contact is exactly worth 20% of what I just paid for my meal. I'm Galvin from The Mike Kelta Show, and this has been an open letter to customer service.